Hey guys, in this video, I was asked if I could find some side hustles or some good paying websites that could pay you very quickly. So it's hard to find companies that will pay you faster than on a weekly basis. There are some that I've covered in the past that pay you daily or within a couple of days. In this video, I'm going to cover a few different websites that pay you on a weekly basis. Some of them have really high pay potential as well, depending on what you do. The first company to check out is Upwork. Upwork is a freelancing website where you can get paid pretty much no matter what your skills are, as long as these skills can be done online or something like that. So even if, so if you're like a software engineer, if you have a lot of in, interest or experience with AI, if you're a good writer, if you're good at marketing, if you're good at, you know, video editing, just about anything that can be done with a computer, you should be able to get paid for your talent at upwork.com. And if you want to see how much other people are making or what kind of um, profiles are out there, I think it's a great idea to check other people's pro profiles and see kind of you know, what other people are doing and see what a good profile looks like. It's very important to know kind of what you're up against as far as who you're competing against in the marketplace. You have all sorts of different skills, you know, depending on what your job is. Like for instance, if you type in programmer, like I did in this example, you might have some extra skills where people will, will you know, specialize in certain things like JavaScript, for instance. And you see people that charge different amounts of money, this person, has 100% job success, top rated plus, and they charge $150 per hour. But then you see some other people that aren't as, they don't have as popular of a profile and they might you know, charge a little bit less, like $17 an hour or $25 an hour. And you can see their experience, you can see how much they've earned, you can see their job success rate and all sorts of stuff. So you can basically build a profile for whatever type of work you are good at on here and then you can get paid here. Now, as far as what people are averaging for Upwork and how much they're actually making, you can look at the hourly pay here and you're looking at you know freelancers making 26 to 48 dollars an hour typically on average and then you'll see a breakdown of different jobs kind of that are more specific but obviously you can make more than that because i just showed you somebody for example that made 150 dollars an hour it just depends on where you live and what type of work you do another company that pays you on a weekly basis is Fiverr. You can even get paid faster than that. I believe you can get paid as soon as daily here um, and you can get paid via PayPal. Fiverr.com is another freelance site, but it's a little bit different. So with Upwork, you may have to kind of bid on different jobs and you have jobs that are posted and then you as a freelancer kind of pursue those jobs. Fiverr is kind of the opposite. Basically, you post what your jobs are. You have kind of like your own little digital storefront and people come to you and that you are the one who set the who sets your prices so let's say you did website design just as a random example and then you'll see people who that have their profile you'll see what their reviews are how many reviews they have what their rating is you know it usually tells you what their lowest paying gigs are so for instance this one starts at ten dollars and then you can kind of go through here and see what people have you'll also see whether or not they're they have a pro rating or something like that. So if you click on a profile, then you'll see usually a freelancer will have multiple gigs. Sometimes they might just have one main one like this one. It looks like they have just kind of one main gig that they offer and you can contact them or just go ahead and buy it. And then a lot of times you'll message each other back and forth to make sure that they get what they want. But it's more of like a storefront type of setup where people uh, where people go to the freelancer instead of the freelancer going to the job. So as far as how much people make at Fiverr, they have you know hourly rates here that average, depending on the job, it's gonna vary quite a bit, but you see a freelancer making around 25 to $45 per hour according to 83 people here. So, and then again, of course, you can go by what specific type of job you're offering, but uh, it you set your own prices so you can kind of determine what your your pay rate should be. Another website to check out is user testing. I've covered this one in the past. This is a really good side hustle website if you just need to make a little bit of extra money. I wouldn't say it's one of the most consistent places as far as work, but you just go to usertesting.com, go get paid to test. You can get paid via PayPal on a weekly basis. 
and you can get paid to test websites and apps. You can do this on your phone, you can do this on your tablet, you can do this on your computer, however you want to do it. And you know, they might have like a practice test that you need to pass first to make sure you kind of know what you're doing and to ensure the quality of the work that they have. And then you can start going from there. So you do not have to pay to sign up or anything. They don't really tell you up front how much you make, but it's anywhere from like $4 to $120 per test, depending on what you do. But if I were to tell you an average, I would say it's about $10 for a 20 minute test. That's typically how much these types of websites pay. User testing is not the only one. There's actually quite a few of these websites out there. And a rule of thumb is about $10 per 20 minute test. But you don't need a lot to apply. You may have to have a microphone for doing this. And again, you can use lots of different types of devices for this, but you may need a microphone and a computer or some sort of mobile device. And then you can get paid via PayPal. That is also the only way that they pay you. Another place that pays you on a weekly basis is clickworker.com. Clickworker is a place where I believe you can do jobs around the world. And you, they say you can do it anywhere, anytime. This is also another one where you can do work on your phone or on your tablet or PC. So this is a place where you do microtasking work. Microtasking is basically a lot of different things. It can include a wide variety of jobs. They pay, they pay you weekly via PayPal, Payoneer. You can decide when you get paid. So if you wanna get paid sooner than weekly, you can do that as long as you're actually doing your work and getting it done. So you're an independent contractor, of course. You can do this on your smartphone or your desktop or notebook. So whatever device you have, you should be able to use it. You can also see the reviews for their apps. It's a good thing to check, you know, just to make sure that they are not screwing people over. And as you can see, they are a very highly rated app at 4.2 out of five stars. So when you look at the types of jobs, they give you a few examples here. You have surveys, text creation, research, mystery visits, app testing, and lots of different types of jobs on here. Sometimes microtasking websites will have data entry and transcription and many other things to go with that as well. They also have really good reviews on Trustpilot and they're very proud of their reviews, which is obviously good. You wanna have a company that has a good reputation. So as far as how much people average here, you might actually be surprised how much you can make here, or at least according to people who have posted. According to these two people who were independent contractors here, they made anywhere from 39 to 73 per hour. And then you have some other people who said they made 15 to 25, 31 to 57. And you know, the work, the, the list goes on. It just, some of these are very specific to the type of job. And some of these are just like, all they tell you is that they were a contractor or a click worker or freelancer. So obviously any kind of freelance type of company like this or independent contractor company, there can be a wide range in pay. But one thing I like to look for is like, is there a high pay potential? And as you can see, it looks like there is here. Now, a website that may have a lower pay potential, but is still something you can kind of do in your free time on any device is Swagbucks. Swagbucks is a place that has paid out over $550 million. And this is in cash back. So I don't know if that's just for the cash back part or if that's in total because they do more than just cash back shopping. You have surveys. They'll pay you for surveys that you take. You have cash back shopping. You can also do this in store. You have entertainment that pays you so you can play games. They have a trivia app and they have some videos that you can watch, which might have some ads or something like that, where you get a percentage of the revenue from that. They have just they're one of those GPT sites. So I haven't covered a lot of GPT sites in the last year, but GPT sites are, that stands for get paid to websites. Basically these are websites that have they have some sort of affiliate deals or advertising deals and they pay a percentage of that to users to try to encourage more people to use their website. And Swagbucks is one of the biggest ones. As you can see here, you can also get cash back from Amazon, Best Buy, Home Depot, and many other major retailers, which can be really good around the holidays coming up. And so you can also check you know, what types of things that they do here they also have a mobile app that's very highly rated at 4.2 out of five stars. And they'll tell you right here that they pay you via PayPal, Amazon gift cards, Walmart, and many other ways 
as well. So it's just a great place to make some extra money. It's not something where I can tell you how much you're going to make on an hourly basis. It's not going to be a whole lot because it's not really a job. It's just kind of something you can do on the side. Another website that's more of a job site is mturk.com. This is Amazon Mechanical Turk. They just call it mturk.com, but this is actually owned and operated by Amazon. This is a place that's very similar to Clickworker. It's a microtasking website where you can get paid. You can actually get paid via Amazon gift cards and you can earn on a weekly basis. And this is a place where I don't even think they have a limit to when you can cash out, which means you could get paid sooner than weekly. Some of these companies, they have like a minimum to withdraw and some of them they don't. So in other words, if they don't, if you earn, say, just a dollar that day, you could still cash out and collect it into your PayPal or however you're getting paid. So when you go to the top right, it'll say sign in as a worker. Just click learn more and then you can read more about it before you get started. And then you can sign up with your Amazon account. If you have an Amazon account, you can just use that. And then you can get paid to do image and video processing, data verification and cleanup, information gathering, data processing, and many other types of jobs. So as far as how much you're going to get paid, it's not going to be a ton. I would say, you know, 10 to $25 per hour is typically what they pay here. Next, we have a company called Rev. Rev has three different main work from home jobs you can do as a freelancer. This is at Rev.com. You've probably heard me cover them before if you've watched my channel for a long time, but Rev.com, they have transcription work, captioning work, and subtitle work. So they pay you to work from home in just about any country. You'll notice that they have a long list of countries you can apply from. You have a flexible work schedule. You can actually choose when you work. You can choose your jobs, so whatever types of jobs you want to do. Like let's say you're a transcriptionist and you only want to do podcasts. Well, you could do you could just look for the podcast ones and just transcribe those. You get paid weekly via PayPal and they claim they are on time and dependable. You can listen to audio and video, accurately type what's being said, and label the speakers as a transcriptionist, which pays $0.30 cents to $1.10 per audio or video minute. So the, basically what that means is the faster you are, the higher paying per hour it will be of work. This is not per minute of work. This is per minute of finished audio. So the faster you are, again, the, higher you're, the more money you're making per hour of work. Uh, captioning, you would watch a video, accurately type what's being said, creatively convey sounds, and sync the typed audio with the video. This pays $0.54 cents to $1.10 per audio or video minute. And then with subtitle work, $1.50 to $3 per audio or video minute, but that's going to also involve translation of the subtitles. So when you click learn more next to the one you want to apply for, they'll tell you the average earnings per month. You get free software and everything to go with it, and they tell you you get paid weekly via PayPal. Another website that's kind of something to just do on the side, it's not really something you want to depend on, is slicethepie.com. This is going to just pay you a little bit of extra money every once in a while. And what you're going to do here is basically review songs and give your opinion on them. You do have to listen to like a minute or so of each song. And this is kind of how they make their money. And you can also review fashion. They used to do that as well. I assume they still do that. But you review things online and feedback on tracks, clothing, and lots more goes directly to help artists record, record labels and brands make decisions. So they might actually be testing out new songs and things like that on this website and you can get paid to review them. They've had 68,000 reviews and $8 million earned or so. So you're looking at, you know, less than a dollar per review, but it's just something you can kind of make money from on the side. It's literally just a way to make a little bit of side income if you maybe just have some time on your hands. And you can also get paid to refer friends as well. Another company that pays you weekly is QMe. QMe actually pays you for surveys and you can earn cash rewards for doing so. They have really good reviews on Trustpilot that they're very proud of. Um, you can earn anytime, anywhere. You can download the app, which you can see has a, a four-star rating on Google Play and a almost uh, four-and-a-half-star rating on Apple. So when you click on those, you can see uh, some screenshots of the app. You'll see that they have very good ratings. They tell you in dollars how much each survey will pay you, which is nice because a lot of them you have like a point system and you have to convert it. 
but they pay you via PayPal or Venmo, which are two of the most popular third-party companies for getting paid. And so as far as QMe, they have a really good rating and they're just a easy way to make some extra money on the side whenever you want. Um, you basically just give your opinion and answer surveys. You can also shop online and earn cash back as well. So this is not a site to rely on for a lot of money, but it's something that you could earn a little bit of extra money on the side with. And they pay, they've paid over $45 million to users over time. Now, 3playmedia.com is a website you could check out as well. They actually have more like actual side jobs you can do, something you could maybe do part time. And this company has a few different jobs available. They have English transcriptionist, Spanish transcriptionist, and an English voice writer. So the transcriptionist positions are very similar to each other. Obviously, one is just English and one is Spanish. So for the transcription jobs, you would be required to have excellent written communication skills, excellent command of English, grammar, and punctuation, or Spanish if you're doing the Spanish one, proficiency with internet research and reference resources, ability to manage projects, work independently and closely follow instructions, and must be at least 18 years of age or older. They're looking for transcriptionists and editors for contract work to transcribe recorded audio and edit imperfect transcription using the proprietary internet-based software application. So you don't really need experience to do this. It's just something that a lot of times they do want you to have a decent word per minute typing speed. Now for this one, it's a little bit different. An English voice writer is something I've never seen at any other company before. This is kind of a unique job to 3Play Media. They have required qualifications of access to a headset computer and a strong internet connection, excellent verbal communication, listening skills, and a clear, consistent speaking voice, sitting or standing comfortably for the duration of an event, which is going to be live. It's up to 90 minutes at a time, multitasking between listening, speaking, and typing, managing projects, working independently, and closely following instructions. And you'll also have to complete a background check. So what you're doing with this is you're basically listening to these live streams and then you are re-speaking whatever the speaker is saying. So you're basically going to just listen to a speaker and it just mimic what they are saying and you are speaking into this web-based software. The software will automatically generate captions that will pop up on the screen of the live event. This makes it where everyone has the same level of access to the audio even if they are hearing impaired or they're watching on mute or something like that. So as far as a demo of this going on, you can click on this demo here and then it will play a video. You'll see, you know, whoever the live speaker is and you'll see somebody who is re-speaking what they're saying and then basically it will create these captions using, using the software. Now as far as how much you can get paid at 3Play Media, 3Play Media has a few people who have left feedback on how much they made here. They have the hourly pay breakdown here. A transcriptionist, they earn anywhere from $18 to $30 per hour, and that's based on 46 people. So you can bet that's pretty good. The more people you have, usually the more accurate this is. You also have transcript editor, which is gonna be very similar, paying $24 to $36 per hour. So, you know, you're looking at, it looks like a full range of about 18 to 36. Um, I don't know what this editor position is. I don't know if that's really the same thing. I don't want really to jump to any conclusions, but at least the pay seems to be decent, especially for an independent contractor site. Another place you can check out is studypool.com. Now they have a couple ways you can make money here. One is selling documents. Selling documents is like more passive income. Uh, if you have documents from say, old homework, class notes from college or something like that, you can upload them and get paid up to 5,000 a month apparently and share them with students or you can become a tutor. I'm mostly gonna focus on becoming a tutor here because um, this is kind of what they're more known for, I think. $7,500 per month if you are kind of in the top, top tier of tutors, and then they're accepting tutors from all over the world. So what you do here is you basically answer people's questions via texting. You're going to basically answer homework questions for the most part. Um, they have very low service fees, which means they only keep around 20% of whatever you're paid to answer the question. Obviously, they have to take a cut for the website and keeping all of this going. Um, you have reliable income, full freedom, and flexibility to work when you want and where you want. They will ask a question. You submit a text with a full explanation and answer. Students or tutors communicate over chat messenger, and tutoring sessions are one-time per question based. Top earners have made over $90,000, and then top 
questions could pay as much as you know something like forty dollars or thirty dollars per question depending on what it is you have tutors in all sorts of different countries and all sorts of different subjects that i would say are mostly high school and college level uh, subjects so if you know a lot about any of those subjects you could apply to be a tutor at study pool and you can get paid pretty well to be an independent contractor just texting people answers to their questions and then last but not least, we have a company called Teamwork.ai. Teamwork.ai is a place where you can find all sorts of open jobs and around the world where you can find all sorts of things that are AI-related tasks, and they also pay weekly from my research. And they have like speech data collection. They have some of those like search engine evaluator type jobs. You have transcription jobs, you may have translation jobs, and a lot of these jobs have to do with improving AI services. So you could be contributing to AI and the future of that. You have ad evaluators, which usually make sure that ads are relevant to search results. Um, you'll have some other ones where they want you to, like if you're a physician, you can give some advice or, or give some feedback on something, or lots of transcription jobs available right now, data collectors, I would say most of their jobs are usually like transcription or search evaluation or data collecting. Something, something along those lines is usually what you'll find here. And they do have these all over the world. Teamwork.ai has um, a few pay estimates here as well. You can look and see what people average. Um, search engine evaluator, for instance, that's a good kind of base level job you'll find here, is 19 to 27 an hour based on six people. Transcription is 15 to 22, 16 to 23. 18 to 30 you can kind of see the full range here it's about 50 to or it's about 15 to 30 would probably be the full range here of different jobs that you find at, at teamwork so these are some of the best websites i found that pay you quickly on a weekly basis or sooner hopefully this was helpful don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more online opportunities like these leave me a comment of what you're looking for so i can help you find it in future videos and i'll see you in the next video